What's going on tech squad? Andrew Edwards here, editor in chief of gearlife.com and I've been hearing a lot of comments coming from you guys about the new product red iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 plus models. The biggest comment I've been hearing though is why did Apple make them with white glass fronts instead of black glass? Obviously to a lot of people, the black front with red rear would look way better than the white front and I can't say that I disagree but there is a specific reason why Apple did it this way. And it's in the name, their product red devices. Any product red branded device is gonna have to follow the design language of the product red foundation. If you search around the web, look online, look at different product red offerings, you'll start to notice a similar pattern. They're either all red or they're red mixed with white. So if Apple just wanted to make a red iPhone, I mean red as in the color red, not the company, they could put a black face on front. They could do whatever they want with it. But since they're working with product red, it has to match up with the expectation and the branding of what product red offerings are supposed to look like. So when you take that information into account, all of a sudden it makes a lot of sense that the product red iPhone is red on back and white on front. In fact, the only black you're gonna see on this device is gonna be in the camera area. There's a little black cutout there. And then over on the front, when the screen's turned off, obviously you've got that black rectangle there. So I just wanted to shoot a quick video letting you guys know why Apple made the decision that they did. And quite frankly, it wasn't even an Apple decision. The only decision they made was to make a product red iPhone. Once they slapped that product red branding on it, it had to match up with what product red standards are. So that being said, I think it's safe to say that we're probably not gonna see a red and black iPhone from Apple because then they'd be selling a normal red and a product red and that doesn't really make any sense. That's it for this one, guys. Let me know what you think. Are you thinking of picking up a product red iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus? Do you like the red look? Even if you're not buying it on iPhone 7, is it something you consider for the next edition of the iPhone? Or are you more of a traditionalist preferring black, silver, etc.? Leave me a comment down below. I'll meet you there for further discussion. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Be sure to drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. It helps out a lot. And don't forget to click or tap on my face when it appears here at the bottom of the video. That's gonna allow you to subscribe for free in order to stay up to date on all future releases. And if you wanna be one of the first to know when a video drops, don't forget to tap on the bell after you subscribe. Until next time, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate the support. I'm Andrew Webers and I'll catch you in the next video.